Okay. So 5 oh. squared is not 5 times 2. It means 5 times 5. 7 squared is not 7 times 2. It means 7 times 7. 8 to the third power means 8 times 8 times 8. So you're going to do 8 times 8 is 64 times another 8. So 8 times 4 is 32. You put the 3 up here. You put the 2 here. 6 times 8 is 48 plus 3 is 51. So you can see that the numbers get pretty big pretty quickly. Okay, 10 to the second power, instead of having to do this, this is a shortcut that you could take. So if it was 10 to the fourth power, it means a one with four zeros. Whatever this is, that tells you how many zeros there are. <clears throat> so you'd put a one with four zeros. 10 to the sixth power would be a one with six zeros, and that's your shortcut. It only works for the tens, though. Okay, that's the first type of problem. You just have to get it out of your head that it's eight times three or seven times two. It is not. This is the base, and this part right here is the exponent. And the exponent tells you how many times you multiply seven by itself. So if the exponent is two, then you would do 7 times 7. If the exponent is 5, you would do 7 times 7. Then you'd multiply that by 7. Then you'd multiply that by 7. Then you'd multiply the next by 7. Do you have any questions about that, Lila? No. Okay. The second type of problem you're going to have is when they do something that looks like this. This means you're going to do the exponent, which is 5 times 5 and that is 25. So you're going to multiply 5 times 25. You might see something in parentheses and you now in fifth grade this means multiply, this means multiply, and this. If you have a parentheses next to a parentheses, these are the three things. It could be a dot in the middle. It's not like a decimal. Um, it's in the middle like that. So this could be 7 times 3. You would multiply this and then you would multiply that by 5 squared or whatever. It might also look like this with a multiplication sign or it could look like this. These two parentheses next to each other means you multiply this which is 21 and then you multiply that times whatever 5 squared is, which is 25. So now we have 21 times 25, and on the side of your paper you would do the math like that. And then you would get 525. So those are the three things that you're going to see. You're going to see it as just an, a base with an exponent, which means that you're multiplying the base as many times as the exponent tells you to. You're going to see it with just a number multiplied by an exponent and a base. And then you're going to see a whole nother math problem, like 7 times 3 or 8 times 4 or whatever. And that's going to be multiplied by your exponent. If you see something like this, you do what's inside the parentheses first, and then you multiply that times whatever the exponent and base are. Any questions about that, Miss Lila? No. All right. Show me what you were going to show me, and I will send this to you and Mom. I think I have to share my thing. Uh, I didn't open it.